Good morning and welcome to a daily dose of good news on Thursday, May the 13th. It's good to be with you. The good news this morning comes to us from the book of Ephesians chapter 1 verses 15 to 23. I have heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love toward all the saints. And for this reason, I do not cease to give thanks for you as I remember you in my prayers. I pray that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation as you come to know him, so that with the eyes of your heart enlightened, you may know what is the hope to which he has called you, what are the riches of his glorious inheritance among the saints, and what is the immeasurable greatness of his power for us who believe, according to the working of his great power. God put this power to work in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at the right hand in the heavenly places, far above all rule and authority and power and dominion, and above every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the age to come. And he has put all things under his feet and has made him the head over all things for the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills all, in all. Here ends the reading. Well, friends, you again this morning are God's answer to Paul's prayer long ago. Paul's prayer giving thanks for you and the spirit of wisdom and revelation that God in Christ Jesus has given to you in order to enlighten your hearts with a hope that you have for the presence of Christ raised and ascended to meet you with that hope in the fullness of him who fills all in all. Meeting you wherever you go and whatever you do in Jesus' name. So you are again an answer to Paul's prayer this day as you encounter Jesus and the hope that he brings ascended as he is into the interactions you will share this day with your family, with your students, or your teachers, with your work colleagues, or clients, with your patients, or your caregivers, with your teammates, or with your opponents, with your neighbors, with those in need. Wherever you go today, and whatever you do in Jesus' name, the Apostle Paul gives thanks for you, as do I. Thanks for you and the daily dose of good news that you are to the world today. Amen. Hope you enjoy this nice spring day that we have. Look forward to have an opportunity to be with you at church as you are able. And... Um, Please let us know if there's anything we can be doing to support you in the meantime. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.